50 receptions, under 800 yards, had eight touchdowns. What do you make of the season that Dez had? Well, remember, it started with Dez injured, so it took a little while for him to get started. I'm going to make a bold prediction for you. Would not shock me at all if he doubled his catch number next year and darn near doubled his receiving yardage total. Because if he's healthy all year long, they're going to want to take some pressure off of the run game themselves. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put. Oh, this is blocked. It's picked up. A live ball here, remember. Accelerating, and off he goes. He's at the 30. Back and three tight ends. It's a gain of just a couple there, but it's enough to get him the first. There may have been a little bit of an element of surprise there. Third and in inches, and they go quarterback sneak. I still feel like this is a play that often is reserved for fourth down. Now this time, Breeze will throw. It's complete to Sneed. No gain there on the complete. Don't give him a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, you get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. And they'll send Williams in motion right. They'll start the drive with Elliott. Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. 20. Touchdown. Some yardage. Then when the clock hits seven seconds or left, now you've got a decision. Are you in field goal range or is it Hail Mary time? Because from seven seconds down, you don't want to take a shot that you're going to have another play. We'll see how they handle it. Back to throw. He's got time in the pocket. Now a desperation throw. It's caught inside the 25. It's a big play for the Cowboys. On yeah, the they managed to get it done. So the D-line's going to spread out. Now Breeze. And this is going to be intercepted. That's exactly what he got done there. From midfield, here's Breeze. Oh, and it's intercepted. I think we just saw that on display right there. Gotcha. Now, whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. So a big kick coming now for Dan Bailey. Yeah, the Saints signal for another timeout. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. And he got it! 